Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cook my pork shoulder with a cracking. I think it has a crack. The skin on the bottom this time they wrapped it. The meat on top and I think the crack is down. I'm not so sure. I was I'm going to open it and I'll see where the crackling will be. Of course we can't have pork shoulder without the crackling. We need that cracker, nice crunchy cracker. And this small big pork shoulder which is let's see which is um two and a half kilograms as you can see two and a half the price was eight pound before eight pound five pence and now it's six pound four pence so definitely when there's a bargain get yourself up there and grab it before it's gone and how it's looking like it's beautiful guys and this time we're just going to cook it in them um, in my dish this one here in my dish instead of having it normally i would put it in the foil put the foil under my tray and i'll put the my pork shoulder on top of the foil and the juice will all go on the foil so it's not getting straight to the tray and start drying and all that kind of things and dry the meat on the bottom that's why i always put the foil and it's fast but this time i'm going to use my dish to cook my pork shoulder in and i will see how it goes so what i've got today i've got some salt one tablespoon of salt i'm going to be using some pepper black pepper like one teaspoon of black pepper it's a big pork show that's massive so one teaspoon of one teaspoon will be enough of black pepper i'm going to have some lemon juice like a tablespoon of lemon juice lemon juice is really really good for pork for chicken it absolutely gives it so much flavors and we're going to put some extra virgin olive oil one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil one tablespoon about a tablespoon and a half and we're going to put our tablespoon of one tablespoon of salt we're going to mix all that together mix 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 and once it's all mixed then i'm going to open my pork it's massive guys it was a bargain today from eight pounds six pounds so i was straight on it it's massive whoa can i lift things up now because it's heavy right take this out and then it's on the bottom oh man this is massive I had to take it out of the freezer last night so it can all be ready for today i want to get a bit of tissue dry it a bit because we just want to put our mixture when there is no other stuff on top water and all that so dry it up dry that skin nicely so when it cracks it's going to crack up very very well all right i'm going to slice this skin So it has a small bone in there i've tried not much bone look at that it's just a small bone and of course anything with a bone on any anyway it's really good because it gives that nice flavor I like anything with a bone in I like a bit of bone in the meat 
it's in that guys it's not massive bone so this all huge meat and definitely good nice cracker oh. the tearing gate's too big this one it's so heavy it's beautiful this will feed like a family of maybe seven people so we'll have this today four people and we'll have it for three people the next day there we go so i'm going to slice it then i'll so we can have the mixture in between nicely sliced cracker so it cracks nicely so i've have, i've sliced it a few slices so the cracker will crack nicely and peel over nice and crispy right so now that it's sliced up we're going to get we're going to get our mixture and just have it in them crackers between in between get it in a, a mixture of lemon juice salt pepper and extra virgin oil that will give it the proper super rush flavors of course i've washed my hands you can use gloves if you wanted but i think it's good when i get in with my hands they're washed and just have all the mixture nicely get it in all over up and down turn it over and have the rest of the mixture on the meat as well let it in massage it in don't forget your bone the bone is in there it's just small bone but this will all give you meat flavors make sure everything is covered with that mixture of lemon juice paper olive oil and salt okay so that's all done and we're going to i've got a uh, one cup of hot water as well but this is steaming which i'm going to put underneath to help with that meat on the bottom so i've put half cup of hot water and i'm going to lift my chunky shoulder pork of two and a half kilograms oh that's big and i'm going to put it in my dish like that and i'm just adding the rest of the mixture guys i like my meat have nice flavors so in my dish my hands washed nice soapy water warm water and all the fats in your hands wipe my hands and our oven is on i'm cooking on the gas in between like, in between six and five but when it's been for one hour while i always take it out and put the the juice its own juice on top i will whoa, i'll have that it's heavy absolutely heavy i will have turned it to five so i'm cooking on the gas i'll turn it on five when it's not in between six and five but when it's been in for an hour i'll turn it on five so it cooks nice and slowly the reason for that cooking it a bit on high is that you want that cracker to crack faster then turn it down so the meat cooks nice and slow okay guys and let's see you later when it's all cooked have you guys seen this after one hour this is how it's looking like look at that cracker Oof. feeling hungry right now so this is when i just get the i just use a small spoon 
Here's my spoon. This when I get the juice out, it's own juice and a bit of water that I added on the bottom and tip it on top of that cracker. And that makes it nice and crack. Lovely, look at that. Just one hour of cooking this. This is looking good. See that guys? Just get that juice and just tip it on top of the cracker. That helps the cracker to crack out nicely. And just peel out itself when you're ready to take it off. Look at that. Just get that juice that came out of the pork and a little bit of water that you added in it before and tip it on top. Every an hour I'll do that. 45 to an hour I'll always take it out and do that. Look at that. Isn't it looking nice guys? Look at that. Tell me how you cook your pork. Let me know. Comment down. And of course subscribe to my channel guys. I'm not a chef. This is just my experience of cooking. That when I cook it and it comes out nicely and a few people love it, I want to cook my pork shoulder. And of course, you may want to try it out how I cook it. Or may I know how you cook yours and let's share together. Sharing is caring. Look at that, guys. Like I say, I always cook it on the tray, put the foil on the bottom of the tray and put place my pork on and I just seal the whole of this area where the crack is not the whole meat and leave this open while I'm cooking on the, on the tray though then when I took this one I take this one out I cover the rest with the foil but with this one I'm going to keep tipping the juice on every after now I take it out tip the juice on and when the crack is finished I'll wrap the meat in the foil and leave it not to cook on slowly but the whole meat will cook for three hours so far it's been an hour and look how it's looking like thank you guys I'll see you again later on oh man look at that look at the color wow that nice golden brown <gasps> that's beautiful look at that look at that so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to have you guys seen this? Look, can you hear that? That cracker is getting really, really. Can you hear that? I'm going to peel all this off, that, and I'm going to place it on my tray so it's nice and more crispy. That, can I see that, guys? So I'm going to peel this up, all the cracker, press it on my another tray, and let it sieve all these fats out. See that, guys? Can you see? This pork shoulder is going to be really, really lovely. Look at that. Look at that. It's a beef. So what I do, I like to take, like I said, I, I want to put this one on a separate foil, that one there, and uh, I'll cover the whole of this with foil and leave it in for another hour i will switch off the oven and i will leave it in my oven for another one hour switched off though but just leave it in the oven for an hour to rest with the foil covered all this but after taking this one off the cracker and the other guys it's It's really really good. Nah. I like the color. I like how it came out with the color of all the super rush. Okay. I'm gonna do that then I'll see in a minute. So this is all coming out. Look at that. Look at that. This. This is all coming out and I'm going to place it on a foil. Ah, I'm going to place it on my tray there. So it can nicely sieve out. So I've taken the all the crack out on top. And you can see I'm going to put some juice on top. 
and I'm going to cover all this with a foil and leave it in an oven that is not going to be sweet on for an hour before I serve it so it's nice and calm look at that so our cracker is already here yeah this guy cracker had that absolutely amazing so i'm going to let that rest on it for you ah, what do i have to i'm going to let that rest on a tray it tastes amazing the crack is absolutely amazing honestly that's level cooking so i'm going to let that rest on that tray get it underneath there yeah. then i'm going to wrap this all around with the foil then i'm going to leave it in for an hour without heat on without turn the oven the cook on and just let it cool down and rest okay guys then i will serve my pork and that will be all done okay thanks so much for watching guys please subscribe to my channel and comment down let me to um let me know which way you cook your pork shoulder and then um, of course i will try your ways as well how you cook yours we all like share and uh, like i say i like sharing if i cook something and comes out nice i really really love sharing it with friends and families but look at that the taste is absolutely amazing and of course i'm going to put my vegetables on soon while this one is cooling down for that how hour one hour i cooked this for three hours so another extra one hour is just to let it just calm down and when it's like that it's beautiful okay guys see you later guys i see you in my another video i think i'll show you a bit later and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means a lot guys please please like and subscribe comment i like to see your comments and i like to hear from you to say hello to me i love to hear that as well thanks so much and you all stay blessed bye, -bye. right guys welcome to my channel again today i'm going to be showing you how i cook my pork shoulder with a cracking i think it has a crack the skin on the bottom this time they wrapped it the meat on top and i think the crack is down i'm not so sure i was i'm going to open it and i see where the crackling will be of course we can't have pork shoulder without the crackling we need that crack a nice crunchy cracker and this is my big pork shoulder which is let's see which is um two and a half kilograms as you can see two and a half the price was eight pound before eight pound five pence and now it's six pound four pence so definitely when there's a bargain get yourself up there and grab it before it's gone and how it's looking like it's beautiful guys and this time we're just going to cook it in um, in my dish this one here have it in my dish instead of having it normally i would put it in a foil put the foil under my tray and i'll put the my pork shoulder on top of the foil and the juice will all go on the foil so it's not getting straight to the tray and start drying and all that kind of things and dry the meat on the bottom that's why i always put the foil and it's fast so by this time i'm going to use my dish to cook my pork shoulder in and i will see how it goes so what i've got today i've got some salt one tablespoon of salt i'm going to be using some pepper black pepper like one teaspoon of black pepper it's a big pork shoulder it's massive so one teaspoon of one teaspoon will be enough of black pepper 
I'm going to have some lemon juice, like a tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice is really, really good for pork, for chicken. It absolutely gives it so much flavors. And we're going to put some extra virgin olive oil. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. One tablespoon. About a tablespoon and a half. And we're going to put our tablespoon of one tablespoon of salt. We're going to mix all that together. Mix, 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 mix. And once it's all mixed, then I'm going to open my pork. It's massive, guys. It was a baguette today from eight pounds, six pounds, so I was straight on it. It's massive. Whoa, can I lift things up now because it's heavy. Right, take this out. And then it's on the bottom. Oh, man, this is massive. I had to take it out of the freezer last night so it can all be ready for today I'm going to get a bit of tissue dry it a bit because we just want to put our mixture when there is no other stuff on top water and all that so dry it up dry that skin nicely so when it cracks it's going to crack up very very well all right i'm going to slice this skin So it has a small bone in there actually not much bone look at that it's just a small bone and of course anything with a bone on any anyway it's really good because it gives that nice flavor I like anything with a bone in i like a bit of bone in the meat so now guys it's not a massive bone so this all huge meat and definitely a good nice cracker Telling it's too big. This one it's so heavy. It's beautiful. This will feed like a family of maybe seven people. So we'll have this today, four people, and we'll have it for three people the next day. There we go. So I'm going to slice it, then I'll so we can have the mixture in between nicely sliced cracker so it cracks nicely. So I've, uh, I've sliced it a few slices so the cracker will crack nice and peel over nice and crispy. Right. So now that it's sliced up, we're going to get we're going to get our mixture and just have it in them crackers between in between get it in there a mixture of lemon juice salt pepper and extra virgin oil that will give it proper super rush flavors of course i've washed my hands you can use gloves if you wanted but i think it's good when i get in with my hands they're washed and just have all the Mix it in nicely. Get it in all over, up and down. Turn it over. And have the rest of the mixture. On the meat as well. Get it in, massage it in. Don't forget your bone. The bone is in it. It's just small bone, but this will all give you meat flavors. Mm. 
make sure everything is covered with that mixture of lemon juice, pepper, olive oil and salt. Okay, so that's all done and we're going to, I've got a, one cup of hot water as well, so this is steaming, which I'm going to put underneath to help with that meat on the bottom so i've put half cup of hot water and i'm going to lift my chunky shoulder pork of two and a half kilograms oh that's big and i'm going to put it in my dish like that and I'm just adding the rest of the mixture guys I like my meat have nice flavors so in my dish my hands washed nice soapy water warm water and all the fats on your hand wipe my hands and our oven is on I'm cooking on the gas in between like, in between six and five but when it's been for one hour why not i will take it out and put the the juice its own juice on top i will oh, i'll have to it's heavy absolutely heavy i will have turned it to five so i'm cooking on the gas i'll turn it on five when it's not in between six and five but when it's been in for an hour i'll turn it on five so it cooks nice and slowly the reason for that cooking it a bit on high is that you want that cracker to crack faster then turn it down so the meat cooks nice and slow okay guys and let's see you later when it's all cooked have you guys seen this after one hour this is how it's looking like. Look at that cracker. Oof. Feeling hungry right now. So this is when I just get the I just use a small spoon. Use my spoon. This when I get the juice out. It's own juice. And a bit of water that I added on the bottom. And tip it on top of that cracker. And that makes it nice and crack lovely look at that just one hour of cooking this this is looking good see that guys just get that juice and just tip it on top of the cracker that helps the cracker to crack out nicely and just peel out itself when you're ready to take it off look at that just get that juice at Came out of the pork a little bit of water that you added in it before and tip it on top every an hour i'll do that 45 to an hour i'll always take it out and do that look at that isn't it looking nice guys look at that tell me how you cook your pork let me know comment down and of course subscribe to my channel guys i'm not a chef this is just my experience of cooking that when I cook it and it comes out nicely and a few people love it, I want to cook my pork shoulder. And of course, you may want to try it out how I cook it. Or may I know how you cook yours and let's share together. Sharing is caring. Look at that, guys. Like I say, I always cook it on a tray, put it foil on the bottom of the tray and put place my pork on and I just seal the whole of this area where the crack is not the whole meat and leave this open while I'm cooking on the, on the tray though then when I took this one I take this one out I cover the rest with the foil but with this one I'm going to keep tipping the juice on every after now I take it out tip the juice on and when the crack is finished I'll wrap the meat in a foil and leave it not cook on slowly but the whole meat will cook for three hours 
So far it's been an hour and look how it's looking like. Thank you guys. I'll see you again later on. Oh man, look at that. Look at the color. Wow, that nice golden brown. <gasps> That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to... Have you guys seen this? Look, can you hear that? That cracker is getting really, really... Can you hear that? I'm going to peel all this off, that, and I'm going to place it on my tray so it's nice and more crispy. But can I see that, guys? So I'm going to peel this off, all the cracker, place it on my another tray, and let it sieve all this fat out. See that, guys? Can you see? This pork shoulder is going to be really, really lovely. Look at that. Look at that. It's a beef. So what I do, I like to take, like I said, I, I want to put this one on a separate foil, that one there, and uh, I'll cover the whole of this with foil and leave it in for another hour. I'll switch off the oven and I will leave it in my oven for another one hour switched off though but just leave it in the oven for an hour to rest with the foil covered all this but after taking this one off the cracker and here that guys it's it's a really really good nah. I like the color I like how it came out with the color of all the super rush okay I'm gonna do that then I'll see in a minute so this is all coming out look at that look at that this this is all coming out and I'm going to place it on your foil ah, I'm going to place it on my tray there so it can nicely sieve out so I've taken the all the crack out on top and you can see I'm going to put some juice on top and I'm going to cover all this with a foil and leave it in an oven that is not going to be sweet on for an hour before I serve it so it's nice and calm look at that so our cracker it's already here. Yeah, this guy. Crack. You had that? Absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to let that rest on it for you. Ah, what do I have to say? I'm going to let that rest on a tray. It tastes amazing. The crack is absolutely amazing, honestly. That's the level of cooking. So I'm going to let that rest on that tray. Get it underneath there. Yeah. Then I'm going to wrap this all around with the foil. Then I'm going to leave it in for an hour without heat on, without turn the oven, the cook on. And just let it cool down and rest. Okay, guys. Then I will serve my pork, and that will be all done. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and comment down. Let me to, um, let me know which way you cook your pork shoulder, and um, of course I will try your ways as well how you cook yours. We all like share and uh, like I say, I like sharing. If I cook something and comes out nice, I really, really love sharing it with friends and families. But look at that, the taste is absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm going to put my vegetables on soon while this one is cooling down for that hour, one hour. I cooked this for three hours. So another extra one hour is just to let it just 
come down and when it's like that it's beautiful okay guys see you guys i'll see you in my another video i think i'll share a bit later and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means a lot guys please please like and subscribe comment i like to see your comments and i like to hear from you to say hello to me i love to hear that as well thanks so much and you all stay blessed bye, -bye.